let's see how pedestrians, bicyclists, and drivers should safely use a roundabout together. Here's how pedestrians and drivers use a roundabout. If a pedestrian wants to cross the street in a roundabout and there is a crossing signal, push the button to activate the yellow flashing lights. When the yellow lights are flashing, it alerts drivers that a pedestrian wants to cross in the roundabout. Even if the lights are not flashing, if the pedestrian is or is about to cross, the driver must stop if they can safely do so. Oregon law requires drivers to stop for pedestrians in crosswalks. When the yellow lights are flashing, a driver must remain stopped until the pedestrian has crossed the driver's lane and the adjacent lane. A driver should only proceed after the pedestrian has crossed the driver's lane, the adjacent lane, and the traffic lane is clear of traffic. Drivers must yield to traffic in the roundabout. Pedestrians should wait to cross until traffic is stopped and continue to watch for traffic as they cross. If the roundabout does not have crossing lights to activate, Pedestrians should look for approaching vehicles and cross the street to the median island. Then, look for approaching vehicles before crossing the remaining lane of traffic. Now let's look at how bicyclists use a roundabout. A bicyclist should approach the roundabout using a bike lane if available. If no bike lane is available, then the bicyclist should approach the roundabout in the driving lane. When the bike lane ends, a bicyclist either needs to use the bicycle ramp up to the sidewalk or merge with traffic. Bicyclists that merge with traffic should follow the same rules as drivers by occupying the middle of the driving lane and stopping for pedestrians using crosswalks. Drivers should treat a bicyclist as they would another vehicle. Drivers must yield to bicyclists in the roundabout. Bicyclists that use the sidewalk should follow the same rules as pedestrians. While on the sidewalk, bicyclists must yield to pedestrians. Once a bicyclist has reached their desired street, they should use the bike ramp to re-enter the bike lane or driving lane. By following these simple steps, we can improve the safety of our roundabouts for pedestrians, bicyclists, and drivers. For more information, please visit us at springfield-or.gov.